the President and First Lady have been traveling abroad for White House business since Friday, on a week-long tour touching down in several countries. Melania Trump is far away from home, and missing their 11-year-old son who she's extremely close to and involved with in his everyday activities as a very hands-on mom. Adjustment to life as the first family has come with more challenges than most, given the vicious nature of those who don't like Donald Trump. While on their short 24-hour stop in Israel, Melania stopped by a children's hospital with the Prime Minister's wife, Sarah Netanyahu, to visit children facing insurmountable problems. As she showered them with genuine love and attention, she undoubtedly thought about her own boy who was back at home, and being watched over by people she and the President trust. Later, when she was meeting with the Israel's First Lady Ner Chama Rivlin, she was handed a note about Baron in a gift that left her absolutely stunned. It's no secret that Melania's first and most important priority is her young son Baron. He's who she stayed in New York for during the stressful first months of Donald Trump's presidency. He's also the one she's fiercely protected against an adversary she never thought he would be relentlessly attacked by, grown adults of a different political party than his father's. Being a person in the public eye can be lonely despite the number of people who know your name, and give you attention. The relentless ridicule and comments made about this child is not something any kid should ever have to face, especially since he didn't choose to be the first son of the United States. Nechama understands this struggle all too well as she too has faced similar scrutiny in her own country, as part of what comes with the territory of being the wife of a world leader. While Nechama and Melania spent some time together, the gracious First Lady of Israel leaned in and handed Melania a gift. It wasn't for the Melania, rather Nechama decided to do something special for Baron and within the gift of the book was a much deeper meaning that was especially touching for our First Lady. Independent Journal Review Reports The First Lady got copies in three different languages, but it's the content of the book that matters. According to descriptions, the book illustrates a mother and son, alone on a walk. Her boy is named Ben. The son is worried that he is alone in the world because he is special, but his mother reassures him with a hug. If anyone is in need of some reassurance, it's Baron who has been the brunt of undeserved torment by adults in this country who simply hate who he was born to. Nobody knows how to comfort him the way his mother does. This incredible story written about two other people well before the Trumps moved to the White House, seems to perfectly represent this mother and son relationship now and the struggles young Baron is facing today. The Israeli First Lady's thoughtful gift was as much of a pleasure for her to give Melania as it was for our First Lady to receive it. Nechama could see that Melania was visibly moved by what the note said in the book, and immediately understood. It was important for me to give the Baron who remained at home, and is only 11 years old, a souvenir from his parents' visit to Israel, Nechama wrote on Facebook. The Israeli First Lady also saw something in Melania that countless Americans fail to see, describing her as a charming woman inside and out, sensitive and special, in her Facebook post. Melania exudes these incredibly compassionate qualities which are prevalent in her time spent with sick children in hospitals around the world, and her warm approach to world leaders. As she walked with Ner Chama, who is ill herself and hooked up to a breathing machine, you can see the genuine love and concern for this woman in Melania's face, which was captured in a photo from the visit. What the world needs now is compassion for people which both Ner Chama and Melania show on the daily basis both in their homes, and abroad. It's incredibly touching that with any number of gift options that this world leader could have given America's first lady, she thought to give her something meaningful for her persecuted kid who doesn't deserve the torment he endures.